two kicks, instant full moon? Will Boom can be the one-shot king? Well, not so fast. We've talked to the best balanced druids in the world and compiled together the most important information related to Boomkin in Dragonflight PvP. So stay tuned to see what's around the corner for balanced druids in the next expansion. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe if you want to stay ahead of the meta. We're going to be covering all Dragonflight and Wrath Classic until launch, so hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications for instant access to PvP news. Starting off, Boomies and Dragonflight are going to have access to random full moons, double interrupt, rejuvenation, and swift mend. On paper, this seems completely busted, but due to how the trees work, some talents require you to commit points into things you don't want to in order to get access in the things you do want. Throughout this video, we're going to go over everything new and interesting related to offensive and defensive play, as well as some new bait talents that may seem super good in OP, but in reality are mediocre at best. And finally, we'll finish off the video with a prediction on how Boomkin will play out in Dragonflight. So let's just dive in, starting off with offensives in the baseline tree. On the CC side of things, Bash and Root Beam can finally be played at the same time. This opens up the possibility for new comps being viable. For instance, Boomy Fire Mage could make a spicy return. Stuns are a big part of PvP, and the lack of one is the main reason we have seen Boomkins play with melee DPS for some time now. We're really excited to see Nature's Vigil and Ursoc's Endurance making a return. Now, although Nature's Vigil is a defensive cooldown, it'll mainly be used in offensive ways. It'll allow us to start our games off strong by challenging heavy burst openers from cleaves. Quite often, you'll see a Red Warrior run in and pop Avenging Wrath and try to overwhelm you in the opener and hopefully snowball that lead into a victory. But now with Nature's Vigil, you'll finally be able to pop all of your offensive cooldowns plus this talent to counter pressure anything thrown at you. This talent is by far the most impactful one in the tree. On the defensive side of things, Improved Frenzied Regeneration, which was originally Guardian only, is now available for Balanced Druids. Its position in the tree is so convenient that it's a must have. By buffing all healing received during Frenzied Regeneration and Bark Skin, your overall tankiness goes through the roof. Think of it as simply nullifying standard mortal wound effects, which is insanely strong, especially in dampening. We predict every Balanced Druid is going to take this baseline. It's just too solid and convenient. Ursoc's Endurance is pretty awesome too. Since Bark Skin can be used while stunned, this talent will cause you to be much more durable during setups, which is something that Boomies naturally lack. It's important to note that the values are not final and that this talent could prove to be completely useless. Only time will tell. And finally, we of course have Swift Mend and Rejuvenation. We expect everyone to pick these up simply due to the fact that they are a requirement for Remove Corruption and the new passive Nurturing Instinct. It's hard to know if Off Healing is going to be a massive deal since we're dealing with Alpha values right now, but we're definitely keeping an eye on it. Off Healing is incredibly mana intensive, so it may be that Fuhrer sees a lot of play if Boomy Healing becomes insane. Within the tree, we found a ton of new baits that look good on paper but are absolutely horrible in practice. The first thing that caught our eye was Skull Bash. A balanced druid with multiple interrupts? Surely that's completely broken. Well, unfortunately, Skull Bash would require you to commit four talent points due to it being gated behind Killer Instinct, which is a completely useless talent. So we don't expect players to be running Skull Bash after all. Same thing goes for Maim and Rip. These talents don't lead us further down the tree, meaning we will lose out on a lot of good talents by picking these. The position of talents in the new Dragonflight trees is very relevant to whether or not something is going to be viable. Keep that in mind. And yeah guys, Renewal is awesome, we know, and it doesn't count as noob bait in and of itself, but it's the fact that we have to commit 3 points into Lycara's teachings just to get access to Renewal means that it's no longer worth it. Again, the position of the talents in the tree are super important, more on that in a minute. Now, although cool on paper, Fuhrer won't see any play. In action, it'll be too clunky to use. We currently don't have any issues with managing our resources, so it's kind of just trying to solve an issue that doesn't exist. But we're definitely going to keep our eyes peeled on some weird Feral Balance Resto Hybrid build. It probably won't happen, but if it does, then we're all for it. Now, onto the Boomkin Tree. A potentially broken talent that might end up in several one-shot clips is Orbit Breaker. We've all seen the one-shot capabilities of instant full moons during Shadowlands Season 1. Now of course, the damage values on full moon may be lower in Dragonflight, so it's hard to predict what's going to happen. Since the instant full moon is pseudo-random, players will most likely have a weak aura that tracks their shooting star procs, allowing them to know when they're getting near 15 stacks. With this knowledge, players can time their celestial alignment with the 15th shooting star, allowing for massive one-shots. But again, values aren't final and only time will tell about this one. 
and an old friend is coming back in Dragonflight, namely Power of Goldrin. This talent was first introduced in Legion, and causes Star Surge to have a chance to deal additional arcane damage after a short delay. The proc chance is pretty high on the alpha, so this is definitely a must-have. It won't change the way we play in any way, it's just a simple damage boost, which is always good. Time Worn Dream Binder, the best legendary in Shadowlands, is an option in the tree and still a must have. The path to get there though is incredibly inefficient. You'll have to pick tons of Starfall related talents, which are all completely useless for single target damage. There are tons of bad talents in the balance tree though, so you don't end up losing out on much by committing several talent points for Time Worn Dream Binder. On the topic of Shadowlands Legendaries, in Dragonflight you're going to have access to multiple of them. Within the tree, both Circle of Life and Death, as well as Primordial Arcanic Pulsar are available. These talents will most likely be must-haves, as well as allowing experienced players to use them as skill expression. This is due to the fact that a well-timed Celestial Alignment proc or Perfect Dot uptime will have a major effect on the game. It's hard to gauge whether Boomkins are going to lean towards a single target or AoE DPS spec in Dragonflight. On one hand, Balanced Druids will have their single target damage heavily amplified due to Power of Goldrin, while also having its Star Surge cost reduced drastically by Time Worn Dreambinder and Umbral Infusion, resulting in tons of Star Surges. On the other hand, in order to get to Time Worn Dreambinder, one must commit talent points into things like Stellar Drift and Starfall, things that empower your AoE damage. And with the newly added Orbit Breaker, it may be very efficient to run a mixture of single target and AoE talents, because when you account for Circle of Life and Death as well as Solstice, the amount of instant full moon procs you'll end up having might just outshine any other build possible. So to recap, Balanced Druids are going to be quite a bit different than what you've grown accustomed to in Shadowlands. Nature's Vigil will be a major player in the arena, and we predict that Balanced Druids will have one of the strongest openers come launch. With some of the highest burst in the game, and now a way to convert that burst into healing, there should be no way for any comp to outpressure the Balanced Druid. Unfortunately though, we're losing Renewal and Hibernate, which is going to feel very awkward. But hopefully Ursoc's Endurance will in some shape or form fill the void that Renewal has left behind. More comp diversity is finally going to be a thing. We predict Fire Mage Boomy and Ellie Boomy to be viable. This is due to Root Beam and Bash being able to be played simultaneously. With the new talent Orbit Breaker, we expect Balanced Druids to occasionally chunk players randomly, and if timed with cooldowns, the Full Moon proc will most likely result in one shots. This talent is most likely going to be the main character for us in Dragonflight, and is the one we're keeping our eyes on the most. But we want to know what you think. Are you excited for what you've seen with Druid on Alpha? Let us know what you would change in the comments below. And once again, please consider subscribing. We will be uploading tons of new content for Dragonflight, Wrath Classic, and Shadowlands in the next few months. And we want to make sure you stay ahead of the meta. As always though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.